I'm Roger Park, journalist and food fan. I meet with food lovers who guide us through new and sometimes familiar cuisines. Time to open the doors of food perception with Taste Trip. I'm in the Boyle Heights neighborhood of LA, where locals greet me, hola chinito. Today I'm meeting up with Latin food expert and writer, Bill Esparza. Bill will be our guide for Mexican stewed goat at Flor del Rio. Hey Bill, how are you? Nice to see you, Roger. Nice to see you. All right, here we are. This is Birria Flor del Rio, um, a, a, a birria specialist from Zacatecas. Thank you very much. Right. Here we are. Right. You smell the goat? Yeah, I do. Yeah, look at that, representing the city. That's, that's a good sign. Okay. okay, Bill, can you tell us what uh, we're eating today? We're having birria from central Mexico, yeah. specifically the birria of the state of Zacatecas. And is that where Javier is from? Yes, family? Javier is from Nochislan, Zacatecas. Okay, and um, is this a family tradition? Where did he learn to cook this? Oh, this is definitely family. He's the third generation that's been preparing this dish. Okay. So he's, uh, this, this su abuelo? Uh, the parte de su papá o mamá? De mamá. Okay, so on his mother's side, he learned from his grandfather. Just preparing the same recipe that's been around for, well, you do the math, quite a while. The average American hasn't really even tried goat because um, they're afraid of it being too gamey. Goat should taste like goat. Now, how long has that been cooking for? Maybe four hours. What do you put in this there? Chili, okay. uh, spices. Okay, spices. Uh, Saw. This goat? Goat, all right. How do we say it in Spanish? Chivo. Chivo. Americans really don't eat that much goat, do they? The only maybe one year ago. Okay. There's somebody white people. Yeah. Coming more. The best road over here, California. Okay. This California and Texas. Okay, so you use goat. You source goats from Texas or uh, California. Uh, Riverside. In Riverside. Yes. Okay. Great. So what? I mean, I guess people say, well, gamey. That's a common term. I, I sort of get that. I, I I guess that means it's it's a wild, more wild animal. It's not so processed but so what's what's in here what's in this juice here that one this is consomme okay consomme all gamey animals taste different i really like goat and i don't know what world everybody else is in but in my world it's a it's a top protein so this place it only serves one one thing basically right and then the this is a birria it's all the the rias the lavanderia you sure. know where you wash the clothes got it, got it. <laughs> panaderia okay. with the so bread this is, just for this that. is a biri it sounds good <laughs> that sounds good a comer vamos okay. a comer oh here comes that. thank you wow look at that that's great it smells great too thank you awesome here it is i, I think we want to condiment our plate to start to season it you know and for me, I don't like to condiment too heavy. I like to actually, I mean, I'm sorry to all my family members in Aguascalientes, but I'm doing cilantro today, not, not the oregano. Oh, not oregano. the oregano. Can you do oregano and cilantro oh, too? Oh man, if you, go all out. Ah, ah. We need some lime here too. I would not overdo it with okay. acidity. It's just, uh, just a lot a of people bit. tend to just okay. go crazy with lime. You can take heat, I know. So we want to put some heat on here. <laughs> it's good, these are like al dente. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so you can make tacos. It's part of our... And, you know, in Mexico you have these artisans that, that, that all their lives, that's all they do. They make either a, some kind of soup really well, mm -hmm. or they make some kind of taco, or they make some kind of dish like this, like mm -hmm. birria or barbecue, mm -hmm. barbacoa. And uh, you don't have a lot of places like that in, here in the United States, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of people, they'll have, they'll have birria, but they don't really specialize in it. They'll have a full menu, sure. and they don't give the attention that this dish needs, this you know. Up. This is actually a franchise of a place in Mexico. Oh, I didn't in know In Nochislan, in the market, they have mm -hmm. the other stand. Oh, okay. For this. That's wow. where the original's okay. from. And then, so this is like a, it's like a, you know, branch of a Mexican restaurant. All right, here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's rich, it's juicy, it's, oh, the meat is so tender. Why do these taste better? Why do the handmade taste better? Well, it's not so just because they're handmade. It's because they're using fresh masa. And the ones that you get in the, in the packages are made with just, you know, it's like the fast food version of tortillas. Sure, so sure, sure. when a lot of those companies, when they grind the, the corn, 
they grind the whole thing. They don't take the corn off. They just, like that, yeah, yeah. the middle, the stalk yeah. of the corn. This is gonna teach me this, this Coriano, who's born in East Los, but <laughs> let's see. Like this much yeah, right here, so let's go like this. Whatever you feel comfortable. Okay. And then drop it here. Yes. Okay. So yeah. just squeeze, squeeze as much as you can so it won't be thick, so it could be thin. Okay, let's see. Let's <laughs> see, this is the Californian Korean tortilla. What do you think? Yeah, it's going fine. Oh. So you put it in your other hand? Got it. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so tortilla di coreano. <laughs> now their plus is that they serve beer here, so. Uh, How'd you like that? Uh, very good. It was excellent. Thank you so much for uh, bringing us here and guiding us through here. And Javier, thank you so much. Not your glasses. Gracias. Gracias, we'll Javier. Back. Let's head back into the, into the summer heat. For all you skeptics out there, don't be afraid of the goat. I kid you not. Well, see you next time on Taste Drippin'.